Start recording. Yes, first match of the league here. I hit the recording button a little late, but we're back on here. I bet he'll take my sleight of hand, yeah. If I rip a land here, it's sweet. I guess we'll deny him a little bit of information. So his worst thing here would be like a Tarmogoyf. Okay, no Tarmogoyf. All right, we'll play this land. So we did get lucky and rip land land. Now we just need some business. I'm pretty nervous about like a Liliana. All right, so funny it's Abzan. At least it's a slower, it's not like Jund. Jund's a little faster, which is probably a better matchup. I think I'm just going to remand this to use my mana. Filter through a new card. I know it's not great, but I do just want to do something here. All right, well, I didn't really want to do that. I guess we'll play this on Lamb. Yeah, we're trying out Storm. <clears throat> I just wanted to play something new. Hopefully he just tries to rejam Lingering Souls. Okay, Grim Flare's all right. I'm going to need something, some kind of action here quick. So this is actually kind of cool. If I need to, I can Noxious Revival into this Remand. Which is kind of cool, because I can go like Noxious Revival, the Remand, Manamorphos, draw a card to Remand something. Which isn't super great, but I think I'm going to give myself the option here. This kind of makes him think that maybe I have a glimpse, or not a glimpse, a, a gifts here. I do need to find a little bit of action soon. Yeah, so I wanted to play this deck because I've just I think it, I think it's really good, and I've also been struggling a little bit. With uh, playing against, I think this deck's just hard to sideboard, sideboard against and play against. So I wanted to just do something. I wanted to get a couple more reps of it under my belt. I think I'm going to stream the Modern Challenge on Saturday. I'm going to play some Death Shadow, but I want to at least get a round or two in with Storm here. I do want to save this Noxious Revival if I can. So my opponent kept... They discarded a Thought Seize. Okay. So I guess we can let this happen here. And we'll just take a draw step. I was much more worried about remanding like a Liliana. Okay. So this is actually kind of cool. So I think I play this Tapped. Then next turn I gifts for like Baral, Electromancer, Past in Flames, gifts again. Or maybe I go for like Baral, Electromancer, Grape Shot, Past in Flames. Because then next turn I can go one, two, three. Putting something on top is four. Casting a thing is five. So I think I'm definitely going to tap land. I just need to think about what my split is, what my gift stack is going to be. I hope we don't get thought seized. Inquisition. All right, we're going to let that happen. We would have fired off the gifts if it was a, obviously if it was a thought seize, but I think my opponent should take Noxious Revival. That's what I think. We might also get into a line where we can get like yeah, I took Noxious Revival. So that makes my gifts pack a little worse. But it is nice that I'm going to be able to go off with like five lands in play. So like, 
I will be able to get a, generate a significant amount of mana. So I've got Delirium. Okay. Flashes back Lingering Souls. All right, so we're gonna cast this. So I wonder, this is like telegraphing a fatal push. So maybe I get like Baral. So I can get like Baral, Electromancer, Remand. No, that's not going to work. Maybe I just shouldn't even get any of the creatures. Because I've got plenty of mana in my hand. So maybe I should just get like Manamorphos, Ritual, Past and Flames, Grape Shot. Because then I can go like plus one, plus two. Because then I can go like Grape shot, and I'll have remand available to grape shot my remand to like get that back in my hand. I should be able to do that. So I'll be one, two, three, four, cast, pass, and flames, five, six, seven, eight, cast that, remand. Do I have enough mana? So it's plus, I might not have enough mana, which will be the problem. Gosh, this is difficult. Math, math is hard. So maybe I just go like, Electromancer, Baral, because I should I have enough mana to go off even in one of these. So maybe I just go Baral, Electromancer, Grape Shot, Past and Flames. I think I'm gonna do that. So let's go Baral here, Past and Flames, and Grape Shot. And then if my opponent gives me a cost reducer, I can empty my hand with the removal spell on the stack. I thought about getting maybe a remand. Maybe I could have gotten a remand instead of this grape shot to make everything a little harder. I wish I hadn't taken the revival because if I, if I had the revival, I could like have it all here. I would assume this matchup gets a little bit better for my opponent after sideboard because this version of the deck doesn't play Blood Moon. It just plays like, it, like he just plays, I'll probably just bring in like pieces and empties. Maybe cut, like just shave on some other cards. So like Surgical Extraction doesn't hurt me as bad. Alright, so he tosses, he toss both creatures. That was a pretty good draw. So let's go here. Let's go here. This gets fatal pushed. Is it dismember? Okay, so let's go more. I guess I should go like this. Make two blue mana. Okay, this resolves. Play my Baral. I guess I'll do this to save blue mana. <clears throat> so now I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So I'll keep my blue open. I go ritual. Should pop my graveyard out here so I don't click on the wrong thing on accident. My opponent might be conceding. Is that what's going on here? Yeah, because they knew they knew I had grape shot. One no, I quit. 
Okay, so I'm interested in this, this, these. I think I'm interested in dismember. I like cutting a couple of these creatures. Yeah, I, that's a, that's why I'm doing it. I'm just doing it to like just to get a couple reps in here. Like I just want to see what it's like from their side. So I think we cut again this matchup. It's good to cut some of the cost reducers because. They load up on removal, and you kind of blank it, which gives you like some pseudo card advantage. He's gonna bring in graveyard hate, so we can probably shave a past in flames. I think we're gonna shave a grape shot, so if he tries to set up a surgical on that, it doesn't hurt us as much. And then, I think on the draw, I want to be able to hold up reman for Liliana on two, I guess. So maybe I want to shave like a gifts, and maybe like a reman. I think I want three gifts in my deck. My friend was supposed to be in this chat that knew that had an idea of what was going on, which I don't really. But like this is kind of like what sound. I mean, I think I think making my deck like slightly worse against surgical extraction and slightly better, like just worse against surgical is probably better than being able to like revamp my hand, deal with like a big grim flare or tarmogoyf, and then empty is just fine. So I think this is what we're gonna do. I gotta worry about like engineered explosives for my opponent, so we'll have to play around that a little bit. But I think this is how we're gonna do it here. I do sort of wish that like this Noxious Revival is really sweet, but in the games that I've played, I definitely wished that I had fetch lands. Just to be able to like Noxious Revival a land and just kind of like really bad rampant growth me if I need to. I wonder if my opponent will have like a ley line or something. If I see like a ley line, I guess I can bring in uh, whatever it is. I can bring wipe away in for the next match. But I guess I don't think wipe away is super, super needed unless we know that they're going to have like some hard permanent base hammers. And I think the like the hardest hammer against me that he's going to have is um, I would assume that he would have black ley line. Uh, but we kind of passed in flames to make us a little bit better against that. But I, I assume he'll have black ley line, which maybe we don't care. Maybe with how we've sideboarded, we don't care about black ley line. But then it makes the revival pretty bad. Well, neither the break storm, I don't think. Here we go with a no land heater. Because you can win with like a lot of empty the Warrens tokens, and then you also can win. Oh, we have no land again. We have one land, which we'll keep. We'll put another land on top. Um, because you can play with like goblins, or sometimes you can win without the graveyard. Like, I'm sure that game we might have been able to win without the graveyard if we had to. We could have. Uh, I mean, maybe I couldn't have won without the graveyard because I'm not really all that solid with the deck. But I felt like we won easy enough where maybe there's a way we don't need the graveyard to win. So my opponent's paying attention. I think that they should take the pieces of the puzzles. If they're not paying attention, they might take the serum visions. But they can see that we put a card on top. I took the ring man. You don't say. Oh, that's right. I forget about the graveyard, but I've lost a couple games um, to Storm where they've like where they've gone grape shot and then they've remanded their grape shot. I guess I should have opted there, I think. Because now I waste the mana. I should have seer envisioned on my main phase, I think. Because yeah, that was a mistake. I played. I did that poorly. 
Yeah, see, now he time locks me. Yeah, that was dumb. I got to talking and I missed it. So I, I feel like there's going to be a Liliana in my future, but I guess we're going to... I should have, shouldn't have played that land because we could top deck another one. Um, I think I want both of these, but I'm going to pieces into one of them. So I guess I would rather pieces into a Metamorphos. Well, the Metamorphos is better than the Serum Visions. So I guess I should put the Metamorphos, put this on top, and then put this on top of it to give me the option to not draw that uh, Serum Visions if my empty if my pieces is better. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, Mold of Five, Discard Spell, Discard Spell, Liliana is probably going to be back-breaking. My opponent surgicals me here. I probably will just concede. He ditched a Tarmogoyf. Jesus. Yeah, my opponent surgicals me. I'm just going to concede. I don't really want to show them what I've got going on. All right, we'll take both of these and ditch one of them. That wasn't actually a bad little take from here. Like, if I'm going to find one card to discard, at least these are redundant. Jeez. This is quite a bit of a... Quite a bit of discard from my opponent. This is how I think these black green decks need it though. I think they need this much because they don't have like unless you're playing Death Shadow, you don't have this clock. I think I'm gonna discard Manamorphos. You don't have the clock. He discarded a thought yet another one. And we got like scavenging ooze. He discarded the Tarmogoyf, but he had the scavenging ooze. Alright, let's see what we get. We get an opt. I mean, I guess we can put this on the bottom. I don't, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I guess we'll put this on the bottom and we'll opt in response to this Liliana. He should shock, yep. I guess we'll put this on top, and then we'll ditch it. At least this, if we draw, like, empty the Warrens. I guess then now he's going to Liliana ult me. So I guess this makes empty a live draw. It makes gifts a live draw. But this, too, would make gifts a live draw. I don't know. So they animate bash for probably six. Wow, he didn't attack with his treetop village. I guess he could do basically the same amount of damage. I guess he's two points off. Maybe it's safer for him to do that. Yeah, really on is gonna we're good here. He's gonna start going to town in my graveyard. So now we're on the play. Let's hope we don't mow five. On the play, I think I want a couple more of these. I probably can get rid of this. I probably can just not have remands in my deck on the play. And just have more creatures because I don't have to worry about like Liliana coming down. And it puts a little more pressure on them, I guess. I don't know. We're just kind of, we're kind of roller skating in a buffalo herd at the moment. That's just what, that's just what we're doing here. It's not great, but I'm going to keep it.
I don't think we want this, but I do think we want another one of these, because I would be willing to bet that our first one gets taken. Nope, so he probably takes my ritual. Nope, six here missions, okay. Play this. Now the split's gonna be interesting. Okay, it's Grim Flare. So I'm gonna give my opponent, if my opponent taps out here, I might go like, I might ritual into gifts. That seems a little aggressive. I guess this is gonna mess with it now. This might just mean that I need a, well, I guess I'm gonna leave it up. Scrimflare is not putting a lot of a clock on me yet, but it is going to set up his draw steps. But I'm really not worried about anything from my opponent at the moment. Because I just don't have a very explosive start. So they ditched one card. I'm assuming cards they keep on top, they would keep like some removal. They probably keep like a couple pieces of removal, maybe like a maelstrom pulse. And I don't think it's worth going ritual gifts. We have drawn a lot of lands, which isn't good. But at least we have both of these gifts and givens. My gifts pile is going to be a little rough because I can't. I have to try to do it without the graveyard. Interesting. I guess we're going to do it now. Okay. So I guess I can get like Noxious Revival, Dismember, Baral, Electromancer. Or I can get like Dismember, Noxious Revival. I don't really want. I can get like. I kind of want to get Dismember. Empty, noxious pieces of the puzzle. Well, I definitely want to get these two. And I want to get... I think I want to definitely get these three. I don't really know what my last card should be. I could just get empty to have empty... To have access to it. I don't really want to get past in flames right now because I have another gifts. Maybe just the Baral is fine. Then my opponent probably can't push. They can't push and draw a card off the spell bomb. So yeah, we're going to go like this. Give my opponent a weird split. Okay, so he's gonna give me pieces and dismember, okay. So definitely gonna get the clock off the table. Hopefully I don't have like a Tarmogoyf to follow this up. He ditched another creature, so I would assume that means that my opponent has another threat. Because if they know I have Dismember, they're going to keep one more of these. 
But one, two, three. We can even kill a Tarmogoyf. I mean, if my opponent passes the turn here, I think I'm going to win. All right, let's scavenge you guys. So I guess I'm going to start, they put, they have two cards on top. So I think I'm just going to pieces of the puzzle first, and then, okay, so we get two cards, one, two, three, so they're going to get four I think I can overwhelm this scavenging ooze. We'll just get rid of this Grim Flare. And good luck, man. It's a pretty Thoughtseize proof hand. Unless he's got two. All right. So I think I'm going to opt on my main phase because if I find a cost reducer, I could just be off to the races. I don't think I want that random. I'd rather take that. And now we'll just gift the end of my opponent's turn. And I can give for like a little mini value empty. He's gonna eat. So he's going for he's going for I guess he can't really go for the kill, but he's gonna try to put me on like a two turn clock here. I was on that before, I don't understand why he ate that. What are you gonna do here? He should just, I mean, he shouldn't eat. Like there's no there's no reason to. He's got, I mean, he's got this Nile spell bomb. Cause I'm dead to both creatures next turn anyways. Spell bomb's been annoying. But so is this guy. Maybe I killed the wrong creature. I probably did because I didn't. I should have known like the game's not going to go that long. So I can go like Baral, Electromancer, Pieces, Past in Flames. No, so Brawl, Electromancer, Pieces, and Empty. So I can have some blockers. One, two. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because I think either way I can put some blockers on the table. So let's go here. Well. Maybe I need to go like Baral. Gosh, I don't know what to do. Ah! It's Brawl, Electromancer, Empty, Pieces. And that's what I want to do. But if he just leaves me with Baral and Electromancer, then I'm not really doing anything. I don't really want to get past in flames so you can just kill it. Pieces probably doesn't do anything. So maybe I need to go like empty. No, it doesn't do it either. I'm sure part of this is that I didn't give myself enough outs when I was sideboarding. 
I'm gonna go with what my gut says to do. And I'll go. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to do here. If I pieces, I can kill Tarmogoy, but I don't think I can pieces for both of them. I don't think he'll put both creatures in the same pile. He might. We're, all, we're, all. we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna see what happens. Definitely not sure if it's what I'm, what I'm supposed to be doing here. He might just give me pieces. If he gives me pieces and empty, that should work out all right for me. It's tough. It is rough that he's got the graveyard covered no matter what. Maybe I should have had the wipe away in my deck for this. And I at least can make him like crack this at some point. I should just let the Grim Flare keep coming in. So let the scavenging news go. I should have recognized like the Grim Flare is better on turn two, but I should have recognized that like the game's not gonna last that long. Which is just like not knowing. Okay, so it gives me a creature. All right, so we're gonna shock no matter what. So I might as well go here, here. And then, well, if I shock, I can't, no, I'll be all right because I can float mana here. I mean, we're going, we're going for it here. So, Go like this. If he tries to kill this in response, I'll ritual and yeah, we'll make so we'll make some mana and float some mana here. Like we'll make some blue here. All right. Okay, so wait one second. So if I go ritual up to six, then get grape shot seven, grape shot eight, I can kill him. This gives me plus one mana. Yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do. I can even cast an opt six, seven, eight. Yeah, we got it. So go here, put that on top for no real reason. Whoo. Well, that was close. And that was the thing there, like they just didn't have the clock to, to put me out, and I could I got to turn seven here. I've got a bunch of mana. I'm surprised we won this one. But that's just how good this storm deck is, I guess. I mean I got lucky hitting into my one my last grape shot. And we got him. Yeah, it's hard to play. It has been fun.
It's fun. Like I'm having a good time. It's 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 mentally taxing in a bit of a different way. Okay. Opponent gains one life. All right. And we queue up for the next match. I'm actually going to go turn some tea water on. Almost done my beer. Now I'm going to go turn this on. Uh. Yeah, so I'm kind of excited to play this. It's actually, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. It's different. I do like this revival a lot. This revival's sweet. The two snow cover islands are kind of cool too. But you can definitely tell that he's, that Caleb Cherry's played a like, obviously, I mean, this is his deck. Like, he's played a lot of it. And there's a lot of reasons. Like, this Noxious revival became like, just super obvious to me why it's in the deck as soon as I had it in a scenario. Or a newest scenario where then if I had Noxious revival, I'd win. I do wish that there were fetch lands, though. All right, we'll keep this. We'll go Serum Visions on one to give us as deep of a dig as possible for a land. I think this is Pona Mulligans, Gluten. I feel pretty good beating a Thoughtseize deck. Like, if we can beat a Thoughtseize deck to start... Yeah, if we can beat a Thoughtseize deck. All right, I don't think we want Past in Flames. We do want this land, though. And then next turn, I'll probably... Depending on what my opponent has here, like if he plays something that's not removal heavy, I'll just run this Electromancer out. And if you play something that is removal heavy, then I'll go Sleight of Hand and Opt. Marsh Flats probably means removal heavy. Yeah, so we're playing against a Death Shadow deck. Mars Flats would make me think that we're playing against Jun Death Shadow. I guess we want this Baral in case our first guy gets murked. Like, this doesn't strike me. This fetch land does not signal, signal a a Grixis Death Shadow deck. But maybe he's like an Esper Death Shadow deck, something weird. It is common that the, the green, but oh, I guess he is. It's a Flooded Strand. My opponent is playing a very odd Death Shadow build. But then again, every Death Shadow build that's not Grixis is probably odd at this point. All right. Opponent's got that stub going on. We're opting for a land. Okay. <clears throat> My Death Shadow? I know, I don't play Grixis Death Shadow. I like the Jund one better, but I mean, it's, it's, I'm in the minute. I am certainly in the minority there. So I think I'm just going to pass and have Remand. My opponent plays a Delve Threat, and they don't have Stubborn Denial. The Remand's going to be pretty good. And I might just, like, cycle this Manamorphose at the end of their turn. Or maybe I should have cycled the Manamorphose right then, but I didn't really want to do that also, because they, they had one mana up. So that either means Fatal Push, Thought Scour, or a Stubborn Denial. And they're... Their hand appears to be stacked with spells because they're not doing anything. So it's probably just a bunch of removal. I think I want to cycle this. No. As loose as that seems, 
I would like to hit a land drop. No, oh man, I clicked the pain land part of it. I guess I'll go blue, blue, because there's no, there's no way I'd want to. Okay. All right, well, we'll start casting, getting their fatal pushes out of there. I guess I could have gone, if I had kept the Manamorphose, I could have gone like Ritual, Ritual, Manamorphose gifts. But that seems kind of mopey. Well, it's got a lot of basics in their Death Shadow deck. Because you got to assume they have an island also. Like there's There's got to be an island in here. You should roll down, yep. Get Street Wraith back. At least I missed the stub. Now they just have planes up. So now we'll definitely, if we draw a land, we'll run a creature out and we'll just start going to town now because we're totally okay with God. I guess I'm going to play Baral because I don't take a damage doing it and hope he passed me. Nope. No such luck. I'm pretty sure if my opponent taps out, they're dead, though. So we got that going for us. But then again, our clock is not long for this world. I think the matchup for Storm gets considerably better after sideboard against these best shadow decks, though. Because you have to do damage to yourself in order to... Uh, kind of enact your game plan. So you just bring in some lightning bolts and like lightning bolt is just gonna, you're just gonna be able to do like mini storms for grape shots and mini lightning bolts or like uh, an empty for like one swing where that empty is gonna kill them. Though this last hope is gonna throw a bit, would we'll throw a bit of a monkey wrench into the empty plan, but I don't think you can keep this in after sideboard. It seems greedy to me. Liliana the Veil. We're getting all kinds of Liliana action. Oh, my tea's ready. All right. So we just lose on the spot to a stubborn denial, but like we don't have that kind of we don't have that kind of luxury. I guess now I'll make blue blue. Three, four. Oh, we might just, we still might just kill him here. So now we go like this. Hmm.
My opponent definitely has to kill this. I, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna go with they don't have a stub, but we can't. We can't play around it anyways. And do we reman that? What does remanding this do? But then are we doing anything with our reman anyways? I guess we'll go like this because it's on the cheap. Now he's going to ask me to direct to both these here, same targets. Yeah, I mean, I assumed that, that that's what I got to. I just took me a second to communicate it there, Steve. No, I don't want to direct either of these. I'm going to do this for each one. Don't make me click through this opponent. Like, come on. Come on. Wow, dude, this storm deck is sweet. I can send one of these at Liliana to send a message, but I don't think I'm about that. I don't think I'm about that life. In case my opponent was being a moron with their stubborn denial, I don't want it to happen right now. Hey, how's it going, Steve? All right. So we want the lightning bolts. We want the empties. I think that we can get rid of, again, some of our cost reducers, a past in flames. We probably can get rid of some of these gifts. I think I want some pieces of the puzzles, but I don't think I want as many of them because it's not as slow of a matchup as that is. Probably can cut like a remand. I still got four cost reducers. I've got two gifts and I'll have two pieces. Pieces is kind of like a mini gifts and it's just going to cost less, which is better than this matchup. I wish there was someone that knew what they were doing here so that they could at least like give me a decent idea of what's going on. I'm tempted to keep in remand on the draw. I think I talked about this. Maybe I cut another one of these. I don't know. I don't want to cut a cantrip. I'll cut a grape shot. But Grape Shot's so good against him. I guess I can cut this Noxious Revival because I'm not as hard on the graveyard. But I got pieces and gifts. I guess the Noxious Revival is better in game one when I have the gifts because I can like set it up. Kind of doing it randomly off pieces of the puzzles isn't quite as good. I hope everybody in the chat is having a good night tonight. It's kind of a slow night here at the stream. But what are you going to do? It is Wednesday. Usually I get most of my action on the weekends when there's less people streaming. It's probably good to not be streaming a whole bunch of uh, streaming this deck when there's a whole bunch of other people streaming. This hand's good. I think I'll lead off on sleight of hand. And then I'll sit on remand opt. I guess it's remand, not remand. I can't speak. I don't know what I would assume this takes I guess I think it, I think he wants to take remand with this. I guess remand sounds less obnoxious than remand. Because this gifts is a long ways off, but this gifts is gonna like is gonna let me get far ahead in this game. So I don't know. I don't know. 
I know nothing. Yeah, that's that's pretty legit. Okay. I think we want the metamorphos. Hang on one second, just gotta give me one second. Okay. All right, so we hit, it's two pretty good draw steps. I thought I must have got a very slow hand. I guess I should turn off auto yields. Wait, see what my opponent does. I guess I'm gonna remand the delve spell anyways. So it doesn't there's no need to really worry about it. If this is if, it, if this is something like Lingering Souls. Alright. I think I'm gonna remand anything. It's not going to take a lot to kill my opponent if I get the opportunity to untap here. My opponent knows I have this. So here's a stub. Okay. This is the hard part about Death Shadow is that you have to know when to manage your life total and when your life total matters, and your life total matters a lot against Storm. Against Grix, when you're playing the Grixis builds, your Delve cards, your Delve creatures are your best threats, and then when you're playing the Jun build, your your Tarmogoyfs are your best threats here. Because you just it's difficult to put enough damage. It's difficult to get your Death Shadow to be large enough to be a legitimate threat while not putting yourself in significant damage. I often find that I that I want to hover at like 9 when I play against this deck because that's enough of a life total to make it so my stubs are turned on if I have a Death Shadow in play. And to where if I'm harassing and taxing their resources, it's going to take a lot. Alright, so we're going to Serum Visions first, and then I will... Opt on my main phase now. We're gonna put both of these on the bottom, and we're just gonna. I'm just looking for lands now. Okay, there's a land. It's not gonna take a lot once we. So I go like end of turn lightning bolt, then I can untap, I can fight over that if I need to. Or if he tries to stub it or counter it or something, I can just remand it with my own remand. And then if I get any sort of, I guess, ritual, I guess I want to save this remand to hit this grave shot with. Because that's that's an easy one where I just get, if I get like one spell, the grape shot sh could do it for me. Especially after bolting my opponent at the end of the turn here. Yeah, my opponent's just flooding miserably. It's one, two. This should be game. Leave up more red mana. It's 
So this is two. I guess I could have. Now remain this one. Just get it back in my hand to where any spell gets him, or I can just cast it next turn, and I can still play around Stubborn Denial, and he's got to have an Inquisition or something like that. Then it also keeps this dead. Next turn, I just go Serum Vision Scrape Shot and get him. I guess I didn't need to go as aggressively as I did. We'll do this first. I don't think it's going to matter. One, two, red, red. I don't see what can go wrong. Same targets. All right. Holy shnikes, we're doing it. These matches do take a while. Yes. So you can't add to the grape shot while it's... I think you could... Like, so I think I could have... I think I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. See what you're talking about right there. When storm, when the storm triggers on the stack, reman my grape shot. That, and then get one more trigger. Yeah, that's where I messed up there. That's why I was saying it leaves the fetch land dead. Because I'm used to doing that. I've done that. Like I've, I've played a couple matches with this. I've done that once or twice. So, but ten viewers, guys. Thanks. I appreciate everybody for uh, showing up and hanging out. I'm trying out a new deck here, working the uh, the card hoarder sponsorship to uh, to um, to just try some more modern decks to expand my horizons a little bit. Give a couple things a try, at least so that I can understand them. I had a really good time playing, what was it? I played Eldrazi in Taxes about a week ago, and I had a good time playing that. I messed up a couple times, but it was a, it was a good deck. I enjoyed it. So that's something new that I've played. I played Jund a little while ago. I played Jund last weekend. But I played Jun because I wanted to play with Hazret. I liked Hazret in the deck. I didn't really like Jun very much, but I liked Hazret a lot. And now we're playing some Storm. My opponent is double queuing. We're going to play Traverse at some point. I just wanted, so I think I'm going to stream the Modern Challenge this weekend, and I wanted to play a little bit of Storm just to figure it out a little bit better. Play some Legacy Scrub. There's not a lot of Legacy decks that are within my budget that I get from Card Hoarder. How's it going, Archmage? You did miss two rounds, yep. Yeah. All right, playing against Elves. So I wonder if I'm actually faster than this deck or not. I would tend to think not. Or at least it's close. We did become the enemy. We're giving we're giving this deck a try. I wouldn't play this. I don't think I would play this deck in like real life, but I do want to give it a whirl here just to play it. Alright, so my opponent's a little bottlenecked on mana. There will be I want to play uh Abzan Traverse again at some point. Oh, no, no, no. Damn it. I hit F6. Not even thinking. At least we got Remand going on here. I should have played a Shivan Reef. That was a mistake. Chat was too lit. It zoned out. So what is this? All right. We shall remand that. You say modern discard, what do you mean, uh, radio? Do you mean, uh, my opponent's sequencing this. Odd. Uh, they should, they should attack first. 
Because now these don't untap. I mean, I assume that they have ways to untap them, but still. We drew another land, which is not gas. I'm going to fire one of these off on my main phase. Because if I find a cost reducer, I'm going to want to play it. All right. We didn't find a cost reducer. The rack. I've never played the rack. Um, I guess I should go like this because I might hit another remand. But is it worth doing this to mess up my store? Because this is like one of my best cards when I'm going off. But then hitting a remand is pretty good because it saves me six damage. Uh, I guess I'm going to wait. I'm just going to let this happen. They play it. I have two. I've got two at the moment. You heavily dislike the premise around the rack. What do you what do you mean? What about the rack gets ya? I'd love to find a way to go off. Like, can I get a cost reducer? Two, three, four, six, eight, ten. So I'm dead on board. So we are we're we're doing it here. I guess I did need to counter that. Yeah, I've done that before. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. We're gonna go red, blue. Alright. We're sufficiently dirtling. All right, I mean, I guess we're doing it, like. We do get a lot of looks at cards that could matter here. So let's go with this. Use this, and I'll untap this. Um, I think we want red, blue. Um, do I want to opt or sleight of hand before I do any of this stuff? So I might have to go Manamorphose make blue, blue. Yeah, I think I have to go Manamorphose make blue, blue. No, it doesn't matter. I should have. I should have made blue blue last turn. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna sleight of hand now. What does this do? Well, we're gonna put Baral into our hand. I think the problem with putting Baral into my hand is that I'm kind of running out of gas. I had a ritual first. That could be possible. Like, I don't necessarily know a whole lot. I'm not, like, super good at what's going on. Um, but I can see. I need to figure out. I need to maneuver a way where I have more blue mana, which I, I don't have a lot of blue mana, which is going to be my problem. I'm going to put Brawl into my hand. Go like this. Go like this. Make blue, blue. All right, we found a sleight of hand. That's going to be our last. Yeah, yeah, I see I see where I, where I went wrong here. So now I need, but now see I'm screwed because I need blue mana, but at least Baral blocks one of these. So if Baral is going to block one of these, let's hope it blocks here. I take eight. But then I'm, but I shocked. So I think I'm dead, right? Can I even cast Brawl? I don't think I can cast Brawl. Yeah, see, I, I can see where I, I sequenced poorly here. Let me just, phone's blowing up. 
So now I go, but I guess I can go block here, three takes seven, and then hope to do something next turn. I don't really know. It might have been, yeah, like, you know, I made, I mean, I mean, I've made, I certainly made some mistakes there. I don't have any idea what I'm doing, which I'll, you know, wholeheartedly admit here. But yeah, I can see where I got bottlenecked on blue mana. But that's, you know, part of playing it. Hopefully my opponent just, I mean, I can't imagine what's in, they'd have to have, they literally have to have four lands in their hand in order for me to untap this brawl next turn, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was, like, I understand now why, uh, why I, how I sequenced it poorly. It'll probably cost us this game. I have to think that this is not a terrible matchup, right? Like, they, we've got to have some sort of game against this. We see that they have white, so I would assume they have, like, rest in peace and ley line on their board. So probably the wipe away is pretty good. I would assume our wipe aways are good and our bolts are good. Maybe Giga Drows is all right. That seems kind of loose. So maybe, like, these four cards would seem pretty good. And this Dismember, maybe. So maybe we want five cards. All right, Dwayne's Elite, so we got to jump here. Alternatively, pretend you're playing Death Shadow and think about what makes you groan the most and do it. Yeah, I mean, I, I know what. Does that kill me? I guess it doesn't kill me. Still doesn't kill me. Wait, no, it does. Three. I guess so. We just block here and go to one. And then we see what happens. So it takes five minutes to flash this back. Yeah, we're dead. So I can see what happened there. Like, I obviously just made it so I made it so I wasted I wasted a blue mana, which was my problem. I had to generate mana so that I could filter red mana to blue mana. So I've got to think that here my remands aren't very good. Now I think I'm going to cut one Pass in Flames, one Noxious Revival, bring in these bolts, bring in a Dismember and a Wipe Away. Yeah. So I think this is what I want to do. Because I'd be willing to bet they're going to have Ley Line and Rest in Peace. And even if they have Ley Line... Well, I guess what am I going to do if they have Ley Line? Empty the Warrens isn't very good against their deck. If my opponent's got Ley Line, then I'm just, I think I'm in a lot of trouble. But I guess I don't really know how uh, how much Elves decks board Ley Line. But I don't really have anything to play against it. So. Yeah, I don't think they do. But I do think, but I don't think the Remands are good. I would be willing to bet he has rest in peace. So I think that's four easy board outs. And then if I'm, I might as well just board out a Noxious Revival if I think that he's going to have Graveyard. Like make myself less reliant on the Graveyard. I don't really want to play Romantic against a deck full of one drops. So I'm just boarding like this, like this to kind of like some creature removal and then a way to deal with, interact with a weird permanent. Eidolon Rhetoric, yep. And we've got two answers to that. I think this is what we're going to do. I guess Roman's decent against Cord. So maybe I should have maybe I should have left the Romans in because of Cord calling. All right, we'll keep this. Slide a hand on one, then maybe bolt a bird on two or bolt an elf. I should say. All right, we want Baral in our hand. Even though the Baral's not really great right now, I think that the Baral, he's going to have a hard time removing it, and if he removes it, it's going to be with Path to Exile. So 
So what do I do now? I can go bolt this, play this. I think I just want to play the Brawl. I'd like to opt if we are considering bolting on turn two. I guess that makes sense. I get, I get what you're saying. So what am I looking for? I guess I can just go here and then gifts. Alternatively, I can go pyretic ritual. I can go pyretic ritual and bolt. Can I go pyretic ritual bolt? Wait, I can go bolt. Oh, I can just wipe his board and gifts. That's got to be it. So let's go here. Can I kill? I don't think I can kill him. Well, let me gifts first. So hang on. What's this going to do? This is going to leave me with three mana. So three mana. Play this. Have the Shiv and Reef up. Get ritual, ritual, pass and flames. Three rituals and a pass and flames. I think we kill him here. Why can't we kill him this turn? Because three mana, this costs three mana. We've got Ritual, Ritual, Manamorphos, um, Past in Flames. And then depending on what he gives us, we can kill him. Or at least I can go Ritual, Gifts Ungiven, and then I can wipe his board. But I can go ritual gifts on given and wipe and wipe wipe his wipe his board right because there'll be three spells one two three which I kind of like doing so yeah we're gonna go like this no I need to tap that for blue. So I can go here, 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 and then this. I hate how this does this. That's my four. Then I'll, depending on what he gives me, I can kill him, I think. Like if he gives me the rituals, then I just go again. Like I'm pretty sure if my opponent so they were manamorphose. So now I go to three. Three mana. Four mana, I'm out. Yeah, so I can't. You were right, I can't do it. They never give the rituals. They slam my analogs turned. We are in the doghouse. But if they don't have it, then we're in good shape. But if they do have it, we're not in good shape. I guess we, we're, we've gone too far here. So we're going to go same target there. This one goes here. Yeah, we did need both rituals. I see that afterwards. And just hope he doesn't have a... Eidolon, he's got to rest in peace. That kind of hurts. I guess we could have seen that coming. So now we do this on one, put this on the bottom. All right. We're in a little bit of trouble. They did, they played, they played a pretty good card for the situation. So now I'm going to wait and opt at the end of my opponent's turn here. Okay. I still think I'm gonna I still think I would rather opt than bolt this thing. 
I think we're gonna put that on the bottom. One. I don't really want to do anything to this at the moment. I think I'm just gonna play tap land and pass. Because I want to save this for storm. Then I guess I should have saved my cantrip. That's what I think. I think I think that this bolt is gonna just say like cut three storm off the grape shot, but I think this is one of the reasons to Oh, because I can remand my own grape shot. I guess I yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, to fight this rest in peace. So I need I'm gonna just block this, and then if my opponent tries to I guess I'm not going to block this. Okay. That's so tempting. Because now it's just a bear. Yeah. I think this is like an adult decision here. Like, that kind of sucks, but I think it's the, the right thing to do. If he's got two, it sucks a little bit. Yeah, so it's punished a little bit there. I guess I've got myself in a bit of a pickle now because I need like... I'm not gonna block now. Because what do I, how do I win? I need to draw like... I need, I need some cantrips. Am I getting paths here? This is an... Okay, we're getting accompanied. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hit the Eidolon. Okay. I think we're... I think we're good with the Eidolon there. I think we're good here. So, I have to think how I messed that game up. Because I think I was ahead. I think if I had another land, or if I had a... If I had a land, or maybe if I would have kept... If I had a land or a remand. If I had a land, a remand for my grape shot. If I had a land on turn three. A ritual or a remand from my... Or if I had a land or a ritual, I would have got him on three. And if maybe I had to save that lightning bolt... But isn't that what this deck should do, right? I mean, if you're on the play on turn, you know, you have Brawl, like, shouldn't we get linear? Yeah, we'll, I think we're going to keep this. I don't know what to mulligan. Like, I can cast three cantrips. So, you know, I like, do I mulligan a hand like this? I don't think so. I need lands and spells. But then I guess I need, like, a land and a cost reducer. But I also don't know if a random six is better than this. I think I'm going to keep it, but like that just was my instinct to not mulligan as much. It might have been. I just didn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll take this ritual. But against a creature deck, their plan is kind of ineffective. Yeah, so I guess I could have waited. Ooh, are we playing against Lantern or are we playing against Junda Shadow? If he just looked at his, we're playing against Junda Death Shadow. So the second Death Shadow deck we played against. So I have to worry about the hard part about this deck is I have to worry about like is it static caster after sideboard, which is kind of annoying. Takes my cantrip.
What should I cast this op? I think I should cast this op now because I might hit another cantrip that I want to play. Which is like what that was. Okay, so we have that. So I want to put... Boom, boom. I think I want both of these. So let's put this on top, put this on top, and then pass. I don't know if I'm going to play my Electromancer next turn or not. Well, I think I want it off there because if I hit a cantrip, like, I mean, I'm off to the races. He should have done that before playing his Tarmogoyf. So when I play the Electromancer, my opponent's got five cards in their hand. Or do I go Ritual, Gifts Ungiven? I probably Ritual, Gifts Ungiven right now. If I'm going to do that line, I shouldn't let him stub me. So if I go Ritual, Gifts Ungiven... But do I want to just run this Electromancer out when I've got... Nothing really going on. This kind of feels rough. I really want to go... I either want to play the Electromancer or I want to go Ritual Gifts at the end of my opponent's turn. But if I'm going to go Ritual Gifts, I should do that right now. I think I'm going to go like Ritual... Because I don't think I actually want to draw this past, this Ritual on top of my deck. We could take Ritual Gifts and not take a pass in Flames and hope they make a mistake. I think I'm going to go Ritual Gifts right now because I don't want to play Electromancer. I don't want to get this stubbed. And I actually don't think I want the Ritual on top of my deck. And do I wonder if I go for like a... No, I don't think I go for a land. What do I Ritual for? Do I go for just like... Ritual, Ritual, Manamorphos, Remand. Probably Ritual, Ritual, Manamorphos, Remand isn't bad. Yeah, I think, I think we're doing it. Because it doesn't take a lot to kill our opponent. I could get the Noxious Revival. Uh, no, I'm going to go Ritual, Ritual, Manamorphos, Remand. Yeah. Ritual, Ritual. So I got Desperate, now I need Pyretic. Yeah, we'll go like this. And I'm pretty sure if my opponent taps out, they're dead. So they took the Remand, so they, they, they saw that. They gave me a bunch of rituals. Okay, so this must mean that they have a discard spell, yeah, for this Electromancer. But they kind of, can they have, they got to take the Electromancer or the Grape Shot. But that being said, they might be able to take, took Electromancer. Okay. So let's. Let's start with Metamorphos. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. Maybe I didn't mess up. I 
Do I kill him or do I kill the timer life? Probably him. And then I'll just remand this. Stubs targeting the remand. Okay. So now we're in a little bit of trouble. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. Maybe I should have taken a more passive line of play. Okay, that Liliana doesn't really matter. I mean, it kind of matters. Conveniently, we still have three turns. Well, how do I win? I don't really know. I need like I need like Manamorphos, 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 Manamorphos into whatever it is. I need just metamorphoses into rituals. Opponent plays Death Shadow. Okay. Baral. Baral does nothing. All right. I think that was my fault in some way, shape, or form. Which easily could be the case. Like, I don't necessarily know what I'm doing when it comes to this deck. So I want to bring in these lightning bolts. I want to bring in these empties. And I want to bring in some number of these. I want to cut a past in flames. Um, I want to cut some of these creatures. I want to cut some gifts. And I don't know what to do with this remand after sideboard. Like, do I keep these in? Do I keep... How much of these... Nox Revivals do I keep in? So we're going to balls to the walls, Electros. They go like this, because like one creature is good. Maybe I don't want remand. Oh, I don't know. I could see wanting remand on the draw, but having a couple more creatures in play on the play. Because I just want to be maybe a little more aggressive and assertive. I know that when I'm on the when I'm playing Death Shadow, when my opponent's on the play, it does kind of put me in a tough position if they have like they just play this on one. Then on two, then I've got to kill it on like my second turn at the end of their turn. And then it's hard for me to tap out because sometimes I can just play another one and go. What do I want wipe away for? They don't have any like really hateful enchantments, I don't think. I could see one more piece. We'll go with one more piece. I'm not really sure. I miss any, did not miss any alerts. It's been a quiet night, but that'll happen. All right, we'll keep this. Slide a hand, find me a land. This hand's actually pretty good. Combo right here. This is a discard combo. Opponent's thinking about it. We're going to turn the tea water back on. Okay. 
Step seven. Oh, nice. The arena is being streamed. Well, that's something worth looking at. I get that. All right, let's find a land. Okay, put that in our hand. Find the mountain. Oh, I can't. I can't eight. I can't F eight with this noxious revival in my hand. This card's gotta go. I don't play with cards I can't F eight with. So I think I want a sleight of hand again and look for another land. This is something I don't really like about this Noxious Revival, is that I wish I wish that um, I wish there was fetch lands in the deck. Because I think I think if you have this Noxious Revival, you're just taking away from you're losing out on some value not having fetch lands. That'll, yeah, I mean, isn't Arena is supposed to not, it's supposed to not um, get those older games, or the older ones, right? Oh. No, well, we're still recording. So why don't I go like this? Come on, OBS. He start Moto. Oh, I guess I should stop recording if we're going to worry about this.